Hey everyone, thanks for joining me today. Uh, this is Cheap Comic Collector. My name's Rob, and we are at episode number 234. Uh, uh, today's we're doing another What Am I Reading episode. We had a claim sale yesterday during the live stream, if you caught that. Um, if you didn't catch it, you can always go back and watch it, and you can claim books after the live sale. You know, even though live, the claim sale's over, if something didn't get claimed and it's a book you want, let me know. Uh, the books are $2 each. It includes shipping and handling to the United States. And, uh, yeah, you know, we had fun. So uh, today we actually are going, uh, doing a What Am I Reading episode. We're going to go over Shadow Pack, the first few issues of Shadow Pack. And those are actually in to sale yesterday. So at this point when I'm recording this, I don't know if they've sold or not, but they were in, in yesterday's sale. So if, if uh, uh, you know, if you see these, and uh, you want them, you may want to reach out in case they didn't sell. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's about it. We're just going to uh, go ahead and change over to my other camera. Just got to remember how to do that. There it is. And there we are. Thank you. And so, yeah, we got the first six issues of Shadow Pack to go over. So I read these the other night and wasn't sure what to expect since it's all, you know, occult characters, supernatural characters. I thought uh, maybe you know, it would be, be pretty uh, intense kind of. John Constantine Hellblazer type stuff, and and it wasn't. <laughs> there's there's actually quite a bit of humor in this, um, which surprised me. So these are from uh, 2006. So that's 18 years ago. These are 18 years old. That's crazy that I think of something 18 years old as being a modern book. Oh, well. Uh, <laughs> they're done by Bill Willingham. Uh, we got the Phantom Stranger basically hosting every issue, kind of acting as his his old uh, host of a mystery book. Uh, so Bill Willingham was a writer and artist. And... Uh, so when it, the first issue opens, he talks about how there's uh, the um, ancient barriers of magic are breaking down because there's a new age of magic starting. So there's there's uh, you know, ancient evils being released and things like that. So uh, and then you turn the page and you're with Superman, which was a complete surprise. And uh, he finds this red thing. He's out on patrol. And uh, he finds this red dome over a town in Wyoming. And uh, there's some some bad supernatural characters that are inside these these guys here. These are uh, uh, various characters. The only one whose name I actually remember is this guy is Bagman. <laughs> um. So they didn't make that big of an impression on me. But a lot of this is actually played for laughs. You know, the uh, they're, they're in this town and they're basically, they're going to perform some kind of ritual that requires human sacrifice. So they've sealed off the town in this red dome. Superman can't get through it. Green Lantern can't get through it. Um, and... Uh, there, but there's there's definitely some humor in it. The bag man here is, is saying hello to the little girl, and she's like, Mom, there's a green fatso birthday clown man at the door, and so he gets mad and, and basically attacks her. <laughs> and and so they gather all the townspeople together and tell them what's going on, that there's basically going to have a drawing, and, and you're going to have to sacrifice yourself to save your friends and neighbors. Uh like I said, Superman Green Lantern can't get through the dome. Phantom Stranger shows up. He can open a doorway temporarily for just a few seconds to let people inside the dome. 
by merging with it. So he calls in uh, Shadow Pact. You got Ragman, Blue Devil, Detective Chimp. Uh, um, Nightshade. Yeah, I knew I should know her name. Nightshade. Uh, Swordmaster and uh, Enchantress. And so they show up to go into the dome, and and uh, um, and meanwhile, there's different uh, Rex the Wonder Dog and uh, uh, Velda are standing guard outside the dome while they're inside. I don't know who Velda is. I don't know if that's any relation to the only other Velda I know in comics is the uh, the one that hangs out with. Uh, Eric on Thunder, that which would have been you know many many years earlier. So I don't know if she has any relation to that character since it's all mystical and supernatural stuff. If if she's like a reincarnation or I have no idea, she could just be a completely different character. And uh, so anyway, they get into the dome and, and so they they all uh, team off to fight the the bad guys, and and they're all kind of evenly matched. There's a you know, Ragman's up against Bagman. Uh, this guy that creates shadow monsters is up against Nightshade, uh, and so on and so forth, like that. So, um, the art's pretty good. Storyline was okay. I, I did appreciate that there was humor to it. Um, I don't think I would have liked it. As much without a without the uh, little touches of, of dark humor that pop up here and there in it, um, so it was okay. It wasn't great. It wasn't. I, w I wouldn't say it was anything all that special, but it, it was it was an okay read. It, it was interesting that they basically just kind of used Phantom Stranger as a host for the series instead of actually being a a care a member of the team, so to speak. And uh, so it continues, you know, they're in there, they're fighting the bad guys. And uh, it's, I mean, there's enough battles going on where it keeps it interesting, I guess. It's just, you know, it, it, it doesn't seem, and since it's all magical fighting, it, it didn't really seem that much of a, a uh, a stretch, you know. It wasn't a but just a bunch of fight scenes. It, it was character interaction and so on and so forth. So it was it was okay. It, it just wasn't great. And then uh, the next issue is actually a flashback to before the first three issues, which was confusing because I didn't I didn't quite understand that. Um, I thought you know this was just a start of a new storyline with Blue Devil. Um, because this is basically a Blue Devil solo story. And so it's showing where he's living in an apartment in a neighborhood, and uh, he knows all his neighbors, and uh, he hangs out with a, one of the priests as his friend, and uh, and so on and so forth. So meanwhile, these two demons show up to try and take him back to hell, and uh, so they they he has to fight um, this monster thing and. This other guy shows up. There's there's some other demon that shows up. Here he is. And this... No, that's Blue Devil. Hold on. Where is he? Maybe I'm confusing my storylines. Anyway, it's at some point... It, it might be in the next issues where Blue Devil... Uh, finds out that th th there's this demon that keeps calling him a brother and saying uh, his parents are in hell and is and because of the de the deal that he made with uh, the demon to get his powers. And then the next issue uh, picks up where the third issue left off, where they had just solved the problem with the town and stuff. So I don't know why they stuck that interlude in there. It was just kind of weird, a weird place for it. Um, because no time has passed between the third and the fifth issues. It was almost like a filler issue, but it wasn't. 
sense. So, um, so for the first several pages, they're just talking about what they're going to do next. They return time, time changed differently while they were in the dome. Um, so it's like a year later, even though it's only been on the outside, even though they've only been in the dome for a few days. So they return and the world thinks they're all dead. So there's this big monument built to them and, and they find out that they, you know, they, uh, Blue Devil no longer has his apartment. They don't have anywhere to live. And uh, Nightmaster has lost control of his bar um, to, uh, to some new character. And uh, and so on and so forth. So it, it's it's just uh, it, it's it's an issue of them discovering that they have no place to go and no place to live and so on and so forth. So and everybody thinks they're dead. <laughs> and then the sixth issue is. Um, basically they're just fighting some giant demon dog. I, I, I kept thinking because he's red, I kept thinking of his, of him as Clifford, the big red dog <laughs> while I was reading it. Um, and, uh, yeah, they're trying to figure out the issue with the bar of no name, uh, where all the mystical characters hang out and, and make a deal with the new owner to stay there and, and uh, so there's basically they're slowly establishing, you know, that concept of that being their headquarters and stuff. And uh, I guess this is the guy that was claiming to be Blue Devil's brother and, and so forth. And so he eventually sends him back to hell. The hellhounds are, uh, I guess, kept as pets, it looks like. <laughs> and... Uh, and that was the end of the sixth issue. So it's it's an ongoing series. It was, you know, before they came out with Justice League Dark, kind of a, a pre-runner to that, I guess. And uh, it, it, it was, it, it, it was okay. It was okay. It, it wasn't anything fantastic. Art was good. Storyline was fine. It just wasn't anything that made me oh i want to see what happens in the next issue i want to see what happens next it just wasn't that big a deal to me so even though i like blue devil so i did enjoy i enjoyed his solo issue actually the most number four um because i thought that was entertaining with him interacting with his neighbors and the priests and so on and so forth and unfortunately you know then they do away with all of that because um, it's a year later and everybody thinks he's dead. So, yeah, it, uh, best part of the, the these six issues they immediately did away with. So, anyway, that that's those issues. Thanks for watching, everybody. Um, please like and subscribe. And I'm not sure what we're doing tomorrow. Uh, I might have some comic books coming in by then. By the time I film another episode. Uh, right now, I don't have anything new to show you. So if I do another episode between me now and me getting some new books in, I'll just be going over, try to go over something you haven't seen yet. But uh, but anyway, we do a new video every day at noon, except for Saturdays when we do a live stream at 1230. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.